Hey, how you guys doing today? Hopefully well. Um, so, there is... Oh, <laughs> when I do my readings, the energy is interchangeable. So if I say masculine or feminine, we all have masculine and feminine energy. So apply it to whoever has that energy. Um, and I do this for the highest healing of those who need to hear the messages the most, okay? So if it doesn't resonate with you, then it's not your story. And if it does, just take the pieces that do. Don't take everything because everything might not be specifically for you and you're going to drive yourself crazy. Okay. Um, I think that's everything. Um, I just, whatever comes out is what comes out. Sorry. Um... So some of you have been cleansing your space, you know, uh, saging, palo santo, whatever it is that you use, you've been doing that, which is good, you know, and others of you have been decluttering, getting rid of things, just deep cleaning your house, you know, it's also good to do that because it helps uh, get the energy flowing again and getting rid of stuck stagnant energy. And for some of you, there has been some type of clearing in regards to coming to an agreement where if you have been struggling to find a happy medium or get something settled, it looks like there is like a, a breakup or something that has been, I guess it's been the topic, either going through a divorce or going through a breakup or something. You know, if you guys were at a, you guys couldn't find a happy medium. It looks like it's finally taking place because it shows someone's becoming single. But this is also triggering someone else. <clears throat> because it looks like whatever this is, however it is that you're going about getting single. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Janine. How are you? I'm okay. A little bit tired today, but not bad. <laughs> so... Whoever this is that's either becoming single or is currently single, they're showing that there's some triggers that are being that are happening right now. And it looks like they're being triggered in regards to an offer that's being presented to them. It looks like there's a lot of legalities here, so they might be dealing with lawyers and trying to come to um, an agreement and maybe dealing with mediators. So it looks like whatever was the initial offer... It was triggering something within the other person. Now, this could... I feel like it has to do with a baby, but it could be anything. It could just be settling of money, household things. It could be any of those things, but there's something going on that's triggering one of you guys in regards to whatever offer was made. And someone is ex extremely upset about it because they're trying to it looks like they are they want to retaliate like some type of revenge or payback so i'm not sure exactly what went down with you guys cuz it just kind of started at the singleness and just somebody being triggered so whatever this is understand that the other person you're dealing with is extremely pissed off and they're planning to retaliate or doing something to you and between now and the next couple months, okay? So they're showing there's no action. There's nothing happening right now. But they're saying that you're being watched right now. And someone is being very judgmental when with whatever they're seeing about you. So if you have social media, they're probably watching your social media or something along those lines. That they're just looking and trying to get whatever information they can possibly to use against you. So... Be careful with what you're posting. Be careful with who can see your stuff because this person is not happy. And especially if it has something to do with kids or money, you know, people get really crazy about shit like that. So if you guys could try to find uh, a good balance that'll be beneficial to both of you, then that'll be the way to do it. You know, because you don't want it to be like you get everything you want and then they feel like they didn't get shit. And then that's what's making them angry. You know, if you can try to be fair, then be as fair as you can, okay? Because you would want someone to treat you with the same fairness. But again, just be careful because there hasn't been any act. Nobody, they're not making any movements yet, but they are definitely watching you, okay? So, and if it's not them, then maybe they have a private investigator that's watching you, but you're being watched, okay? And again, it looks like it's very, it's like I'm the hush hush. Someone is being very secretive about it and they're making judgments. Now, if this is not 
a whole legal situation, which I'm pretty sure it is, but for some of you, it might not be a legal situation. It might be someone that's watching you that hasn't taken action towards you that's making judgments, but they're not speaking to you and they're just making assumptions about whatever it is that they're seeing on your social media page, okay? And someone feels like they're a victim because of the amount of grief that they have within them. So whatever it is that happened, they just feel like they're they're stuck. Like, you know, when you keep yourself bound, it's kind of that type of energy where they're just feeling really sad and they're not speaking about it. But it's showing that the scales are being balanced right now. So whatever this situation, if it is legal, it, you're going to get justice because they're showing that whatever was wrong is going to be made right. Okay? And if this is someone that's watching you, they admire you and maybe whatever the grief is that they were going through was to balance the scales, which is bringing them to a crossroads now because it shows that they're being guided and whatever messages spirit has been giving them, they've been receiving them. Okay, so if you've been wondering if they're listening or if they're ever going to come around, it looks like whatever happened before is now being balanced and the grief that they're going through now was necessary. Okay, so... If you're making judgments about people, you know, I don't recommend it, especially if you're just going off of what you see on social media. Oh, that's awesome, Brittany. Hi, Akno. How are you? I know, Janine. Oh, that really sucks. I don't like when I get sinus infections. That shit's terrible. Hello. So they have been getting the messages from Spirit and again... Whatever this is, the legalities, you know, if it's you, just be careful, you know, because I know sometimes people play dirty and they do all types of shit just to get what they want. Um, we have Scorpio coming out and Leo coming out right now. Now, for those of you that are afraid of change, if this is some legal situation that, you know, if you're going for custody of kids or if you're going for household shit or money, whatever it is. Do not fear the change, okay? Because whatever is happening is for the highest good. And once this is over, you're going to be blessed with so much more. So don't look at it in a terrible way. And if this is something that's romantic, you know, and one of you are the only ones that wanted it to end and the other one didn't want it to, which is usually how it happens, you know, don't fear that change because you don't want to hold on to something that's not going to serve your highest good. That's not beneficial for you, okay? Because... You're, the universe is always going to protect you. It's always going to provide for you. But it really goes off of your vibration. So if you're in the lower vibration, then you're going to keep attracting more negativity and more toxic energy to yourself. As opposed to if you're at a higher vibration and you understand how everything's working and why it's happening, then you're going to attract the blessings to you, okay? So don't be afraid of whatever it is that's changing. Allow it. Go with the flow of things because the more you resist, the harder it's going to be and the worse the tower moment's going to be, okay? Just have faith that all is well. Just say that over and over in your head and at some point you'll start believing it. You know, even if you don't believe it now, you'll get there. Um, but they're showing there are blessings coming and for some of you it may be in the realm of love. There's going to be some type of romantic blessings that are going to come into you, for you, okay? And it is going to be a transformation. So if you were dealing with someone that wasn't sure or was confused or was not ready for that, that situation is transforming now and they're going to be ready to come and make that commitment to you, okay? So again, they want you to have faith. And like I said, if I repeat myself, it's because they're telling me to repeat it. Um, so... Like I said, faith takes time to build. You know, I didn't have faith for a little while. I just was going through so much shit and I was in so much pain and so broken that I lost any faith that I had in anything because I've always been a good person, but I always got the shitty end of the stick. So the last straw was like my mom dying and I just lost every, I lost my shit. <laughs> so it took time, you know, to rebuild my faith and to believe that good does prosper over the darkness you know it took time to get that back for me to actually believe that and it was acting with not knowing what the outcome was going to be just knowing that I'm doing what's right and I'm expecting a positive outcome you know I'm expecting things to go in my favor because I'm doing what's right so have that kind of faith you know just move even if you don't know what's going to happen and you're terrified try to just 
be, have faith that whatever is meant for you is going to be for you and whatever is meant to happen is going to happen in your favor, okay? They just want you to go with the flow of everything, okay? Because it looks like some of you are feeling very confused right now. And the more you think about it or the more you get advice or the more readings you have, the more confused you're going to get because it's so much information from so many different people. And it's a lot of wisdom and a lot of different experiences, but ultimately it's not yours, okay? You have to trust your intuition and what it is you're going through and you need to ha find a peace of mind to do this. And some of you are dancers or you like dancing. And spirit's asking you to do that, okay? They're asking you to do some type of movement, maybe yoga for some of you. But there is going to be movement in the situation. And you also have to get the energy flowing within your body. Because if you stay stuck and stagnant and not doing anything, then your body is, your energy is just there, okay? You're not doing anything with it. You have to get the flow going, okay? And for other of you, you might just be going out dancing, you know? Hey, have fun. <laughs> Dance for me. Um, but yes, it's necessary to ground yourself, you know, and sometimes when you're dancing, it's like, it's, um, God, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like you get into a meditative state because you're so relaxed and you're allowing the music to just move your body. And when you're there, it's like you're free and you're clear of anything. Okay. So please just pay attention to that. Yes, Janine, it's important to get your vibration up. And yes, I will message you, okay? After I'm done with the reading, I'll message you. Um, so make sure that you're grounding yourself because they're showing there is a change coming. And there's a message that's going to be coming in. I want to say it's going to be within the next few weeks. And it's either... Okay, so for some of you, it's in regards to a child, okay? And you're going to be getting good news in regards to that child. You're going to be getting blessed with that because someone's been stressed out about it. And for others of you, you're going to get news in regards to some unexpected income that you've been stressed out about. And some may just be a new beginning and it might be an unexpected blessing that comes your way. If something hasn't been going your way and you've just been really stressed out about it, it's going to change, okay? They're showing me a older man. So if this is a mature man that's going through this, that's kind of been really in their head, they're going to get blessings, okay? They're going to get money out of this situation. So if you're the one that's been going through the divorce and you're back and forth about trying to find a settlement or you're not happy with whatever that settlement is, financially, it looks like you're going to get what you're looking for, okay? Now... They want you to focus on the blessings in your life and not focus on what's not right and what's not going your way. Because the more you focus on what's not right and what's not going your way, the more of that you're going to attract. Okay, because they're already showing that you're going to get the blessings, stop being stressed out about it. Okay, it's going to be, like I said, unexpected income. And it maybe it's child support for some of you if you've been waiting on it or you just haven't known what's going on. It looks like that's what's going to happen, okay? That's going to be something you're going to get in the mail. Um, this is the time for deep emotional healing. So whoever this is that hasn't released this or is still holding on to things, you have to look at the bigger picture, okay? Because sometimes when we're stuck in the middle of everything, we're not seeing everything from every perspective. You have to detach yourself and watch your life as if you're watching a movie, you know, observe what's happening and don't interact with it for a minute. So that way you can get a full picture because once you do that, they're saying that your commitment is being tested. So whatever it is that you're trying to be committed to or whatever it is that you're going towards or you're working towards, it's being tested right now. So if you just keep going through shit and going through shit and hitting walls and like, why is this so fucking hard? They want to make sure that you want what you say you want and you're willing to fight with for what you want, okay? You know, because we'll say we want one thing and then when it's not happening, we'll shift to something else. Or if it gets too hard, we won't keep working at it. We'll just give up. So please keep going forward on that path. And for s this individual here has an extreme amount of guilt. Like the guilt is eating them alive. Whatever it is, understand that's gone. It happened, whatever the fuck it, you did, whatever you're guilty about, it is done, it is over with, that's it. 
You know, the only thing you can do now is take accountability and make amends if you wrong someone in the process, okay? They want you to see past that illusion. They want you to see past whatever it is that you keep telling yourself in your head that you're not worthy of love, you're not worthy of getting whatever it is you're looking for, or you fucked up so bad that you just can't fix it. You have to get out of that illusion because they're showing like you're holding on to this and there's no need to hold on to it. You have to let this go. Um, Sagittarius is coming out here. And... Again, they want you to slow down because when you slow down and you stop thinking all of these thoughts, you're going to be able to see the conditioning that led you to the place that you're at now, that led you to feel this guilt or led you to act in the manner that you acted in that's causing these emotions inside of you right now, okay? Because you're just, you're holding on to these things and it's not serving you. And they want you to slow down enough to actually realize that this is past conditioning. This has a lot to do with your upbringing and your belief system, okay? And like I said, a lot of our parents, it's not that they did it deliberately to fuck us over. They just didn't have the knowledge or didn't have access to the things that we have access to now. So it looks like this individual is going to be coming into awareness about their conditioning, okay? And they're comparing, you know, a lot of the stuff that's happened in their life and seeing where they went wrong and how they went wrong and why they did the things that they did. So the mask that they've been wearing all this time is finally coming off because they're showing that it's a completion is happening right now. So whoever this is, release the guilt because you're only going to drive yourself fucking nuts. All right. You know, and they're showing that it's definitely, they're going to realize they're going to see what this is. Okay. I'm like, you know, we do the best we can as parents, you know, and the best thing, if we can educate ourselves, learn more, learn to heal ourselves so that way we can teach that to our children, then that's awesome. But a lot of our parents didn't have those tools. They were never taught, so they didn't teach us. And now we have to figure it out, you know, so that's kind of why I'm here is to help people on this path so that they don't have to struggle the way I had to struggle. But they're saying prosperity is on the way, you know, so money is coming. Like I said, they should money's here and so they show me an older gentleman so if he that's what they've been stressed out about you're gonna get the blessing the money's coming to you okay and be free don't feel like you have to move within a certain limit or certain restraints or because society says you can only do this or this is how you have to move in life do what you please move how you want to move as long as you're not harming somebody else you do what the fuck you want to do man okay you have to stand up and be who you are and stop allowing people to determine what happens in your life or how it happens okay now again awareness is coming out again so just be in the moment okay as long as you're conscious of your thoughts and every time these toxic thoughts start coming up again try to shift your focus shift it to something happier shift it to something beautiful whatever it is you know, shit, even if you put on something that makes you laugh, a comedy show, put that on to shift your awareness, okay? Because then it'll be better for you. And they want you to look for signs from spirit, okay? So if you're confused and you're just not sure where to go, when you ask for the signs, be open to receiving the signs. You know, acknowledge that the signs are there so that you can see them and you're like, oh, okay, you know, they presented me with this animal today. They sent me a thousand fucking numbers today. Whatever it is, be open to these things so that way you can write it down and say, okay, well, these are the things that I've seen today. Let me see what they mean and see how it resonates with your life because they are giving you the messages. And now some of you are being protected from harm. Whatever is going on in your life right now, you're being protected because it's showing that someone is completely devastated and there is this energy here of a very toxic karmic so if you recently were dealing with someone or it's someone from your past that you were dealing with that is very broken and alone right now, they have a lot of toxic energy toward you. Oh, yay. 11-11 is awesome. I see that. I see all of them. I think all of them in fours at this point. And I'm just like, whatever's going to happen needs to happen because I'm tired of seeing this shit. So <laughs> it's real, man. But definitely they're showing that there is a lot of divine intervention right now that's keeping you protected, okay? So if you feel like you're stuck and you're just in this very sad, broken place, this karmic energy, whatever it was, you know, they, they feel threatened from something in the past. So let me see what they're saying here. So something that happened in the past is what 
they're ashamed of their behavior, something that they did, they're ashamed of. Okay, they're not giving me a specific anything right now. But it's time, somebody has to take a risk. And they're showing that time's running out and whatever it is, that lesson is coming to a completion. Whatever it was, this karmic learned their lesson. This person, if your person went to a karmic, then they learned their lesson dealing with that karmic person. Okay, because it looks like they took a risk and the risk that they took was with the wrong person. If they were supposed to take it with you, they went to somebody else and now they're feeling stuck and confined and broken because they made a bad choice and they feel embarrassed for whatever the hell happened between them and that other individual. So maybe they did some foul shit to them and they know with you it would have never happened, okay? But they learned a lesson. And it looks like at some point, you know, they're saying the clock's running out. So there is a deadline on this. But this person is now self-medicating and they're very guarded. And they're not speaking because it shows like they're they're doubting that they can have this family union. They can have this family back, okay? But they're fixated on it. They want it, but they doubt that they can have this. And they're afraid of being devoted to another person or another situation because in this... They don't want to be hurt again. They're just really afraid of being hurt and giving that much love and devotion to another situation or another person just to end up in the same place. So they're stuck in fear and they're not making any movement. And again, we have divine timing again here. So whatever it is that's happening, it's going to happen, but it's going to progress in spirit's time. It's not going to progress in the time frame that you're hoping or wanting it to. And they're showing that it is a, a twin flame situation and there is a transformation that's happening now because of all of the things this person went through. Whatever this person did, did some really bad shit to them because they're really, they're afraid and they're just not making any movements. They're not saying anything. And they're saying don't worry about it. So if you're the person that's kind of in your head and you haven't made any movements because you're terrified that you're going to end up hurt again and this person's going to fuck you over again... Do not worry, okay? Because the more you worry about this, it's like you're praying in reverse. You're like, I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried. And you're bringing all of that shit to you, to you, to you, to you. As opposed to, you know what? I'm going to let life be what it is. And I'm going to focus on positive things and positive outcomes and hope for the best. Because when you're focusing like that, you're putting out positive energy. And yeah, you're hopeful, you know, you hope for the best. It doesn't always work out that way, but it's better than being in that place of what if this goes all the way wrong and that place of fear and you're not making any movements, you're not doing anything besides being stuck in fucking limbo. Limbo is not the place to be in. You want to have movement. Even if it doesn't go your way, at least you can close that chapter and move past that onto something else because there's not a what if. It's I know and I can move forward, okay? Um, again, Sagittarius and Taurus are coming out. Now, for some of you, this has to do with friendship. And it could be someone that's long distance or someone you met on the internet. That someone is very worried or they did something that wasn't right or treated you unfairly. So, however that's resonating for you. Exactly, Janine. I mean, I don't like limbo. Like, just tell me what the fuck it is so I can get on with my life. I don't got time to waste. We're here on a very limited time frame, you know. I don't know when my last day is, so let me live it the best I can. So, speak gently to yourself. You know, like I said, a lot of us speak very harshly about ourselves. You know, we'll be like, oh, well, I did this. I fucked up. I'm this. I'm that. I'm all of these fucking things. And in the reality is, if you had your 10 year old self, you know, looking at yourself, would you speak that way to yourself? Would you say those things to you as a child? And you wouldn't, you would not. You would say things that are gonna be uplifting, that would be encouraging to tell you, to, you know what, keep going, it's gonna be okay, it's a mistake. We all make mistakes, you're gonna learn from it and you're gonna grow from it, okay? So take it like that and speak to yourself in the same manner and make it a habit, okay? Because when you make it a habit, you develop a better relationship with yourself and more self-love and self-worth will come from that as opposed to being mean to yourself, you know? There's enough people that are mean to us. <laughs> we don't need to be mean to ourselves too, shit. Um, some of you, spirit, I got book here twice. 
So there's something that you guys need. There's some information. There's something that you're looking for or you're trying to find out. And they're saying it's in a book. So if you've been looking for information or there's a question that you've been trying to figure out, open a book. I don't know what book, but there is something that you need to open. Maybe you just flip open to a page and see where it is and then read the first thing that pops out because that's going to be a message that's for you. It's going to answer whatever it is that you're looking for. But they keep saying to go into a book for this. So again, I don't know who this is for, but the answer is in a book. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you what book, but I have no fucking idea. Um... So, um, some of you need to connect with crystals and, you know, I know everybody's not on crystals like that and they don't use crystals like that, but I did pull some crystals so that will give you a little bit of an idea as to which one resonates for you th that you should get. Okay. Oh, thank you, Janine. I know. I'm glad to, I missed you guys. I like talking to ya. <laughs> so again, be still. All right. Take time for you. Find a place to be quiet and meditate and be able to hear your thoughts. So I pulled out about six crystals. I'll do them at the end. Now there is either, okay, there's a couple different ways. There's a love situation. There's a contract. There's something that has to do with a relationship that is very difficult right now, but it looks like some type of friendship is going to help you. It's going to help you to make this happen or get this situation fixed. Others of you, it's a job, it's a new job, a contract, something that's going to come forth that's a gift to you from the universe. So if you've been looking for a new job or you haven't, you've been like, am I ever going to get this fucking job? The universe is gifting you this job, okay? They're showing a contract, okay? And again, they're showing a masculine energy and there is someone that is very deep in thought about a woman and maybe even to the point of having anxiety about a feminine energy. So... And again, if this is the relationship, it is going to be hard work to actually get to that commitment level, but they're showing that it is possible and it is a gift that's coming. Allow your friends to help you in this situation because sometimes you need an outside person to be able to communicate for you or maybe break the ice a little bit depending on how bad things are or how bad they ended, you know, so see how that is because there's someone that's really in their head, you know. Now, again, they're saying blessings are coming to you, so just be willing to receive these things. And they're saying there's very important details that you're overlooking. Pay attention. Pay closer attention to whatever it is that you have going on right now. If it's a contract, if it's somebody feeding you bullshit, if whatever it is, listen and pay attention. Make sure that everything adds up. Make sure you go and double check. If somebody says, oh, well, I didn't do this because of that, go and make sure because people can't, people are full of shit. They're just full of shit. So whatever it is, just make sure because they're saying there's something important that you're overlooking right now. So be very careful with whatever it is you have going on. Okay. And they're saying there's again, new moon, I think around the new moon, this is going to occur for you guys, um, and cancer is coming out. So there's going to be a change, okay? There's going to be a big change, a transformation for you guys or for this individual, however it's resonating, but something is going to happen, and they want you to know that you are safe and protected regardless of however things may seem. If you feel like you're down and out and things are not working your way, they're saying that you are protected, okay? There, this was twice that protection came out, so whatever it is that someone's trying to hurt you spiritually, they're not letting it happen, okay? They're protecting you from this type of crap, all right? So just continue to share. You know, when you start receiving your blessings, share with other people. Be abundant and be a blessing to other people, you know, because sometimes we get blessings and other times we are the blessings for other people. So that's why it's like, if I have it, I give it. If I can help you, I'll help you. It's always good to operate that way because you never know when you're going to be the one that needs from somebody else, okay? And if you're that cold, stubborn ass, stingy person that don't want to give shit, then that's what you're going to get back in return. So try to be the loving, sharing person, okay? Because there is a change that's coming and there is a balance of the masculine and feminine energy for some of you. So if you've actually reached that place where you're finding the balance between you, you know, masculine and maybe even in a relationship, if you're finding that balance, 
there is abundance that's coming because you're finding that neutral place to be at, okay? And you're found a way to just be. You're not forcing, you know, you're not trying to coerce things. You're just allowing everything to happen. And realizing this is causing a breakthrough. It's allowing you to break through from the grief, the sorrow, whatever it is that you have inside you that you've been stuck on. You're finally breaking free of that and you're finding, you're coming into consciousness. Like you're coming into a full awareness of whatever it is that you were raised with, your past programming, you're now understanding how it's no longer serving to you and you're breaking out of that. So those are all pluses. Those are our very big blessings, very big things that are happening here. And again, whatever you have to honor your emotions, the good, the bad, the ugly, all of them, okay? Just do it in a conducive way. Don't just flip out on people and be like, I'm fucking angry, so I'm gonna punch you in your face, you know? Be angry. Say, I'm pissed off at you right now. I don't want to talk to you. I'll talk to you when I'm calmed down. Or walk away. Whatever it is, just maintain your power. Maintain your control over your body, over your emotions, okay? Because the minute you react in a way that they're trying to get you to react, then you're giving your power to this person, okay? So just try to be positive. If you have like, if you like drawing, dancing, singing, whatever, reading a book, whatever it is, use a creative outlet to release this anger, okay? Because as long as you're honoring the emotion, you're not going to have to deal with it in 10, 15 years. You're not going to explode. So try not to just push it down and be like, ah, whatever. No, deal with it, you know, because it's better to have a little bit of anger than to have a whole lot of anger because then you're really going to explode in a rage. So that was for somebody who has <laughs> some anger management issues. Um, now, again, some of you need to find a mentor or a guide to help you to develop your spirituality, to help you in your healing process. However, this is resonating for you because this is how it's going to help you to continue to grow and find the balance that you're looking for. So, again, balance is coming out again. Take the time to relax that you need. You know, don't feel like you have to rush anything. Don't feel like I have somewhere to be or there's a time frame on the healing that needs to take place. Everything is happening as it's meant to, okay? Don't feel like you're behind a curve. Don't feel like, oh, well, my friends are more advanced in the spiritual path or they're healing more faster than I am. It is your path. It is your journey. It is yours alone, okay? Each of us have our own time frame when all, these things, all of these things are meant to happen, in, okay? So don't feel like you have to leap and rush through this. Take your time, one step at a time, okay? So that way you're not rushing, you're not missing anything, and you're feeling your feelings throughout this entire process, okay? So you have to be open to learning from others, you know? You can't always be the leader if you're a person that's used to leading and advising, you know? You have to be open to other people's stories, to hearing what other people have to share because even the tiniest people that I've come across, like you, children they have this innocence to them that they can share with you and you're just like oh my god like i wish i could be more like you so appreciate it from all aspects from all ages don't just cut it off because they're younger than you and you feel you know more okay and some of you need to set boundaries with your work schedule so if you work from home it's a little bit harder because you don't really have boundaries you're just like eh, i'm home i can work till whenever set a time say i work from these hours this is my break time this is my cutoff time and keep to that schedule don't just keep working and working and working because it's there and you're there don't do that take the time off take the breaks okay now there is a couple things that <clears throat> i want you guys to think about here because there's some decision that needs to be made so they want you to think about who is most affected by your decision okay not you got to think about what's best for you but who is it affecting most and odds are it's going to be you and whatever assumptions you're making right now what is the opposite of that assumption so if you're assuming that things are going to be terrible what if it's a positive assumption that you're making and <clears throat> do you have a deadline for your decision if there is something you've been sitting <clears throat> excuse me something you've been going back and forth with and you're like i don't know i don't know i don't know give yourself a deadline say okay by i don't know what fucking month we're in october maybe by december 15th i expect to have an answer on this matter whatever it is you know give yourself a deadline so that way you know like okay i'm gonna actually do this and i'm gonna get it done and then six months from when you make the decision set an alarm on your phone 
and see how that decision went. You know, say, okay, I made this decision six months ago. Let's see where we're at. And hopefully it's good and everything's progressing. Okay, for others of you, they want you to look at what your beliefs are that you have that you resulted from your childhood. Like, what do you believe about yourself that you developed from childhood? You know, a lot of us might have some toxic things that we believe about ourselves that are not true. So see what those are so that way you can dissolve those and find healthier things. And for some of you who had, uh, mm, we'll say some parental issues, they want you to describe a trait you develop, you, something you hate about your parents, but you also carry this trait. So whatever that is, see what it is, you know, because we'll be like, oh God, my parent gets on my nerves. Or I hate this or I hate that about them. But there is something uh, obviously within us if we see it in them. So see what trait that is that you carry and see how you can work on fixing that. Now the crystals that came out for you is celestite. So <clears throat> the other one here is golden healer quartz. I gonna, I'd like to pronounce this word, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know about this. I can't pronounce that. So if y'all could figure that out. It's cryos. I, yeah, no. <laughs> um, we have unikite. Iolite. And angelite. Oh. So if you guys have, um, some of you might have these crystals. If you don't have any of these crystals, these are crystals that are going to be beneficial for what you're going through right now. So please, you can, what is it? Healingcrystals.com is one that I use, you know, if you don't have a local metaphysical store. But, you know, just if you can order them, because I don't think those are really very expensive crystals. So however that resonates for you guys, I hope this helped you in some way and you got something from it. exactly Janine everything works out if just stay in the moment stay present stay here stay now you know because then you're enjoying it more and you're not stressed the fuck out about everything else um I love you guys thank you so much for watching and I will probably be back on here tomorrow I don't know I say that and then sometimes it doesn't happen so I just leave it up in the air um but thank you guys I love you guys have a good rest of your day